click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see how a call is initiated from a mobile phone and how a call is initiated from a landline phone. Before going to the calling from a mobile phone and a landline phone, we'll try and understand what are the various channels that are used between the base station and the mobile station. There is a standard called as CAI or Common Air Interface which has showed four channels which are used for communication of voice and control signals. The four channels are forward voice channel, reverse voice channel, forward control channel and reverse control channel. We'll see what these channels mean one by one. The first channel is forward voice channel. This channel is used for communicating voice signals from base station to mobile station. The second channel is a reverse voice channel. This channel is used for transmission of voice messages from mobile station to base station. Similarly, we have other two channels called as control channels. The first one is forward control channel. The forward control channel is used for sending the controlling messages from base station to mobile station. And the last channel that we have is reverse control channel which is used for sending controlling messages from mobile station to base station. Now we'll see how a call is initiated by a landline phone. Here I have the timing diagram which shows on various channels how the messages are carried out. Since the call is initiated by a landline phone, that is a PSTN initiates the call, PSTN first reaches out to the MSC. The MSC here receives a call from the PSTN and sends the requested MIN. MIN stands for Mobile Identification Number to to all, to all the base stations. The base station then transmits the page messages for the specified user on the forward control channel. Since we know forward control channel are from base station to the mobile station. Hence, on the same forward control channel, our mobile phone will receive the page message which has the MIN. When the mobile phone matches the MIN with its own MIN, it will send a message. On which channel it will send a message? It will send a message on the reverse control channel. The mobile station on the reverse control channel acknowledges the receipt of the MIN number and it sends the station class mark along with the electronic serial number. The electronic serial number is a unique number which is different for every mobile phones. Since it is sending on the reverse control channel, the base station is going to receive the same message on the reverse control channel. Hence, as we see here, uh, in the base station, in the reverse control channel, it receives the MIN the ESN and the station class mark. Station class mark is nothing but the power level on which the phone is transmitting. Once it receives, then the MSC verifies that the mobile has a valid MIN number and an ESN number. If, it, if the MIN number and the ESN number are valid, then the MSC, it requests the base station to move to the unused frequency channels for voice transmission. Once the MSC gives the nod, the base station then on the forward control channel will transmit the data for the mobile to move to the specific voice channel. Since the base station is transmitting on the forward channel, the mobile station will receive the same message on the forward channel. On the forward control channel, it will receive the data message to move to the unused voice channel. The MSC then connects the mobile phone with the landline phone 
at the forward voice channel we can see it begins the voice transmission at the reverse voice channel we can see it begins the voice reception similarly in the mobile unit side we can see the reverse happening in the forward voice channel we begin the voice reception and in the reverse voice channel we see the beginning of voice transmission calling in a mobile communication system next we'll look at the call initiated by the mobile phones here again i have the timing diagram which shows various channels and msc where the calling takes place since the call is initiated by the mobile phone the mobile station will transmit the controlling message to the base station since the mobile is initiating it will transmit on the reverse control channel hence on the reverse control channel we see it sends a call initiation request along with the subscriber min number of the calling party on the same reverse control channel the base station will receive the call initiation request along with the min number the esn number and the station class mark esn is electronic serial number and the station class mark is a power level after the base station receives the request it transfers the request to the msc at msc we can see it receives a call initiation request from the base station and verifies that the min and esn are the valid numbers once the min that is a mobile identification number and esn equipment serial number are valid it instructs the forward control channel to move the mobile to the unused voice channels this instruction is given forward to the base station the base station on the forward control channel will page for a called mobile instructing the mobile to move to the unused voice channel since the base station is sending the request on the forward control channel the mobile station will receive the request on the same forward control channel on the forward control channel we can see it receives a page and matches the min number with its own min number and it instructs to move the channel to the voice channel after this the msc connects the mobile phone with the calling party on the pstn after this the base station we can see on forward voice channel it begins the voice transmission and on the reverse voice channel it begins the voice reception the similar opposite happens at the mobile station on the forward voice channel we begin the voice reception and on the reverse voice channel we begin the voice transmission finally we come to certain features that a handset requires every handset for its working requires a battery for power consumption other features include gps navigation and input mechanism through which a user can interface with the mobile phone wifi bluetooth connectivity video calling mp3 playback and so on thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ekida and subscribe to ekida